In the previous episode of Making a Tomb of Shadow from Scratch, we reached 70 agility. Unlocking Nex is my new moneymaker, and we made a lot. Fully upgraded my gear to the best in slot, and ended with a bank value of 829 mil. I have just been invited to the Theater of Blood, and this is the first time doing raids on this account. And yes, I am going to be using the Zarek crossbow and my best in slot range. This is a very good time to do TOB, because the Scythe right now is going for almost 900 mil. Looking at the damage there, I feel like we did pretty well. Considering these guys are in Torva with Inferno Capes and Scythe, that's not bad. I've just and just finished playing Trailblazer Leagues, and it's so weird not guaranteeing a hit. Berserk was so nice. Oh, I'm trolling. I don't expect this to be purple, and it's not. That's the first Deathless Raid. 1.3 mil. That is actually incredible. The time has come for me to get my fighter torso. I owe a big shout out to BA Services because these guys ran me through this in an effortless attempt. So if you guys are looking to get any of the rewards from Barbarian Assault, then check out their website down below. After receiving the fighter torso, I decided it was time to part with the Inquisitor Halberk, freeing up 55 mil, allowing me to buy some additional items to help my team. We're gonna walk this one in. They both stopped. Is it a sign? Oh, it is purple. 900 mil for the scythe. Come on. Imagine. First purple for this man. <laughs> Are you serious? There's no way. The first purple we see is a freaking scythe. We are literally in the process of teaching him to top right now. How much is it going to be? 288 mil. Okay. That's a big split. That is absolutely amazing, and the bank is now officially over one bill. In fact, it is over one bill by 120 mil. Now that I have an abundance of cash, I know exactly which item I want to buy. But before I do it, I want to try and get myself an Infernal Cape. But it's a little bit more complicated than that, because I'm only 45 defense. But now that I have the cash, I am going to go ahead and pick up the Eldritch Orb. A huge price to pay, but a game-changing item, which will give me the best chance of completing the inferno i've never done an inferno cape on an account with less than 80 defense i think this may be painful because cozy club is a zerker restricted to 45 defense to give myself the best chance possible it's crucial that i choose the best gear to fit my situation so i went ahead and unlocked my best in slot defensive shield the regular spirit shield requiring 55 prayer and 45 defense to use giving me a plus 45 in ranged defense. I then had to choose between using Mazori or Blessed Dragonhide. And ultimately, although Mazori gave better offensive stats, I favor the defense and the prayer bonus that the Dragonhide has over the Mazori. There's no going back now. I'm hoping that by some miracle I'm able to do this on the first go. That would literally make my day. What am I doing? Those two misclicks have sent me back almost four brews. It is insane how punishing this is on 45 defense. Oh my god. This is the final wave, and we have had such a nice spawn. I'm so thankful. Those two mistakes I made earlier are the only mistakes I've made, but it has costed me so many of my supplies. It's actually insane. This is so nice. This is probably the luckiest wave 65 spawn I could have had. Nothing crazy. I don't need to take any damage. We've actually made it to triple jads on my first attempt. The supplies aren't amazing. If I make any mistakes, it's not going to be good. We've done it. Triple jads are completed. The only trouble now is that we are a little bit shorthanded on supplies. These supplies on a main account wouldn't be too bad, but because I'm a zerker, basically, I can't make any mistakes. I just got hit a zero on range prey from the mage. I'm so fucking lucky. <laughs> So relieved. Oh my god. This was 
I thought, honestly, there was a part of me that thought this was about to be like a month grind. <laughs> I'm absolutely like, oh my god, I'm beside myself right now. The Infernal Cape on the Zerker. I have absolutely nothing left in my inventory, but I do now have an Infernal Cape on my back. And that is what counts. I'm just gonna throw it out there. I think this account is forever gonna be a Zerker now. There's no way I can ruin this. It's such a sick account. It actually is. The Zarek crossbow has been a wonderful component, but the time has come and we now have 873 mil. I've sold everything in the bank. I do not know if I've ever paid this much for a scythe, but there it is. It is in my possession. We have the scythe. This right here is one hell of a look. I freaking love it, man. You may have guessed it. We are indeed back at the Theater of Blood. I only did 4KC before we pulled the scythe, and we are back. This is about to be a ton of fun. But first, take a seat, and let me tell you about today's video sponsor, Boot Dev. Boot.dev is building the smartest way to master backend development by tackling the hardest problems first. The folks over at Bootdev believe that the best way to learn code is to get your hands on and start writing a ton of it as soon as possible. And they do this in the most captivating way, by making it feel like an RPG game, with XP gains, level ups, achievements, quests, and even global leaderboards. And one of the things I love the most about Bootdev is they're aware that not everybody has the means to afford the membership, which is why all of their content is free to read and watch in guest mode with paid memberships unlocking interactivity and the game to go with it so if you guys would like to learn some truly awesome and valuable skills then click the first link down below and use my code rixi for 25 percent off of your first payment on your first month or year dependent on the subscription and a big thank you to boot dev for the continued support on this channel I mean, if we get a purple on this raid, it's technically a bank-to-bank. -bank. Come on. 5kc, two purples, that doesn't sound too shabby. Sad. <laughs> oh! Don't think I'm not noticing these master tasks just getting popped off one by one. I'm having such a blast on this account right now. And the fact that I'm completing combat tasks, and we've completed the medium as well, I need to go and collect that. I should at least go for master, I suppose. Ooh, I just got a level. 95 hit points. He just got the pet! He just got the little zick! That's awesome, that's the first pet that we've seen here at TOB. Kill Sotaseg after surviving at least three ball attacks without sharing the damage and without anyone dying. Well, I don't know how we completed that because you literally died there. <laughs> no. Finally! We got a purple! It's in my Who's name. Can you imagine if this is the back-to-back -back scythe? I'm happy with anything. Anything I will take. All right. The rapier, 50 mil. That's uh, that's actually quite nice. I'm down bad right now for cash, so that's gonna be a really nice GP injection. 16.3 mil split to each of us there. We have came to an impasse. We can't find a full team. So we are gonna try some duos, which means I have to invest in the Blood Fury. But hopefully it's gonna pay for itself. A successful duo has been completed. No purple, sadly. Oh, let's go. Second purple, my name. Even if this is a hill, it's a 40 mil split and I need the money right now. I just, just don't be just a car, please. Okay, eight mil split. You might be able to tell I'm a little bit sick because I don't feel very well right now. I am going to go do some productive things on the account outside of doing TOB. We're going to do all the quests that we can and we're going to have to get 100% in all of the Arceus favors. I was supposed to stop at 90%, got a little bit carried away there. When I complete this quest, we will have 100% Arceus favor. And holy shit, man, I'm so sorry for being so ill right now. 32 runecrafting. We're gaming. I don't know when they're going to be removing the requirements. It could be months from now. I honestly don't know. I'm hoping I don't upload this video and they immediately release it. That would be very unfortunate. They did. Less than a week later, which is bad news for me and good news for you. You no longer have to do this grind. But on the bright side, I have now unlocked Frawls, which is going to be a nice little DPS increase. This is going to be the first raid we do with the Frawls. And my God, am I excited to use these things. There's just something so satisfying about adding more DPS to your build. 
I've got no clue. Oh no. <laughs> I've got no idea what that was. Killed my teammate as well. <laughs> I feel better already. Okay. All right. 20 mil. Okay. That will do nicely. At the moment, we are completely self-sustained by the blood vials that we've been getting as drops. All I'm having to buy right now are the blood runes. Ferritur Trio Speed Chaser. Didn't even realize we were on time for that. I'm going to have to look up what the Grand Master time is. We have to shave a minute off of that time. And to be honest, I think we could probably do that. That was the first raid of the day. And I think I died. We can definitely beat that. What the fuck is this? I just looked up his stats and this is crazy. Look at that. I don't even know what kind of bot this is. I'm guessing it's just to get it max combat or something, but why are they trading with a Saradome and Godsword and Full Justicar? The account is now officially one month old. I feel like the account's come a long way in a month's worth of playtime, to be honest. The bank's over a bill. Stats are looking pretty good. And I'm having a ton of fun at the same time. After all the clean raids we've had today, if this is purple. Wow. How does that even work? We had four deaths that raid. Okay, not bad. Almost a 20 mil split. The bank just keeps rising in price right now. The current value is 1.25 bill. I haven't made money. The only thing that has changed is the scythe has gone up in value. This is today's graph for the scythe. Started out at just under 900 mil. And just now, as the updates hit, it shot up almost 100 mil. Almost a bill GP for this thing. And if you're wondering what the update is, they gave it a plus 15 slash accuracy buff. And they also reduced the cost by one blood rune per charge. Can you dance? How have I never done this? Oh my god. No way. I just got the fucking pet. There's no way. That's the first pet on the account. Oh, it looks so sick. That's insane. Very, very cool. The Zerker TOB pet. I just need to get the Scythe upgrade at some point. We are now doing hard mode tobs. I have only completed eight hard mode tobs in my life which was about three years ago. So this is completely new to me. Hard mode tobs are exactly what it says on the tin. All of the bosses are harder with extra abilities and more health. But the main difference is that if you make the time, you have a chance of receiving the kits and the transmog for the pet. Oh, what the fuck? Did you get less points here? Oh, I'm doomed then. We pretty much all died that raid. <laughs> That's a little bit rough. We had seven deaths, but we managed to get a completion. That is the main thing. All right. That's actually, uh, that's a really nice non-purple chest. 981k. We're in the cage again. That is the second hard mode top completed. We're getting consistent completions. I just need to figure out how to stay alive there at the end. Just making silly mistakes. My knowledge is very limited here, so... That's my excuse. First deathless hard mode top. Nice. 20 minutes as well. Holy crap. Never purple, but that is progression. Oh, it'd be quite nice to get the scythe kit. That would be cool. This is the final level in attack that I'm ever going to get on this account, which is going to take us to 82, which means we are going to be able to wield the Osmutant's Fang. So when I eventually go to Tombs of a Masket, I can now wield the weapon. And that also puts us only one level away from 100 combat, which is one of the requirements for the hard western provenance and that's going to unlock the crystal halberd and a leap void which is going to be huge for me right now because i currently can't afford dragon claws and it'd be really nice to have a decent dps spec weapon strangely enjoyed this grind 71 thieving the final mahogany table 65 construction oh i feel sorry for my clan chat right now i still need to do the swan song and i still need to get 100 combat which i'm a hundred thousand hit points xp away from and the rest of the skills i can just effectively boost currently i have 125 on the bow already so we're almost halfway i'm glad that we've got that one knocked out of the way 74 farming and a hard task for the western provinces catch a dashing cabet 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 Cabet. Draw a pretty painting. Pickpocket a gnome. No way. I got it on the first go. That is incredible. I honestly can't remember the last time I killed this boss. Sora Scales is the collection log. There we go. I've never felt this overqualified for anything. Seven points a game. My goodness. And there we go. We have now completed the hard western provenances. Agility has been the chosen skill.
since day one. But the real prize in all of this, Crystal Hellbird. Oh, I'm so happy that I can actually unlock this on a Zerker. I wasn't sure if it was possible. I don't know too much about Zerkers until I started playing on this one. It's gonna be so nice actually having a special weapon. Oh my god, that was an 800 XP drop, what? 96 range. I imagine a good chunk of that XP has come from this raid. This has to be purple. <laughs> oh, it's never, never purple. I don't think we've had a purple in like over 40 raids now. Yes, and it's in my name as well. It's been so long. 27 hard modes. We haven't had a purple for the entire hard modes we've been doing, not one. I'd love to get a hilt. Or a Sang Staff. Let's see it. Another Rapier. <laughs> That's the second one. It's 60 mil. I am seriously in need of the cash right now, so we'll take it. I have a 370k cash stack. 15.6 mil each. The cash stack has been recovered, and I'm topping straight up on supplies. 30kc on the hard modes. Sadly, no purple. 70 rune ore, 65 vials of blood, 2 mil in basic loot. That is so nice. It's mine! I always get the purples. I don't understand. Okay. A verdict defender hill. We'll take that. 73 mil. And it's a collection log as well. We haven't had that yet. An 18 mil split each. That should be a Grandmaster task. Royal Affairs. Six points. There's no way it's in my name again. How? How? Of course. That would make absolute sense you guys in here with your torva your primordials and all this and you just can't be on the same level it's okay scythe please god damn it it's a collection log i suppose we have now officially passed 100 kc at the theater of blood we've done pretty well for drops i've had five purples in my name which is pretty darn good double roll on the vials of blood you don't get much better than that Purple, finally. Defender, easy money. 18 mil. Nice. 25,000 XP away for my very first 99 on the Cozy Club. There we go. 99 strength. Pretty much all of the accounts I've ever played, I always end up getting 99 strength first. That's really cool. Grandmaster task. The Fairter of Blood hard mode Grandmaster. 50 completions. Six deaths. Very unlikely these are going to be purple i don't know how i keep doing this i have had so many purples in my name no just a card please okay all right okay 18 mil split for everybody from the hilt i don't know how i keep getting them i guess the account is just blessed it kind of has been since day one even the callisto days i managed to get hilts non-stop okay eight deaths the dream scythe on the eight death raid it's very possible right now okay all right, the Sanguesti Staff. That's actually the second best drop we could have got. A healthy 19 mil split. 50 mil in there. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. I could technically sell stuff and buy Dragon Claws if they're 90 mil. Would be very close. Here's an interesting fact for you. In the previous clip, just before I went to Thailand for three weeks, now I'm back on the game. I've just opened the bank and it is a whopping 1.46 bill. I think it's gone up about 150 mil without me even playing the game. The scythe is 1.1 bill right now. The members has run out, got 14 days, and this should be plenty to make the remaining money for the Tumic and Shadow. Purple, no way. The first raid on return. Let's see it. Another Sang Staff. I'm pretty sure that's back to back. This is the biggest split we've had in a while. I've not sold a single piece of the basic loot from these TOBs since I started the grind. And I'm doing it now because we can actually go ahead and make ourselves the Dragon Claw upgrade. That's 15 mil in vials of blood. It's all sold off. 49 mil cash. And when we combine that with 52 mil, there we go. My final TOB upgrade. Can we get the back-to-back -back purples? We've yet to have a back-to-back -back at TOB. Not today. It's purple. It's purple twice in free raids. A Vernick kill. 13 mil. Finally, I've broken the dry streak. It has been a long time since we've seen a purple. Mere moments for you. But for me... I've waited years. Anything that isn't just a car. I beg. Nice. And that right there? 
Well, that should do it. The bank is now officially over 1.5 bill, and we started with a bank value of 830 mil. In total, we completed 103 regular TOBs and 70 hard modes, with 7 purples in my name. I went all the way from 95 to 99 strength just through TOB, and after completely sweeping my bank for every gold piece possible, the Tumacan Shadow is now mine. We have the Shadow now. I guess it's time to rebuild.